So these are my uh, solo figures and my one ship. And as you can tell, I don't have a lot of solo stuff. So I think I showed this in an earlier video, but this is my little um, solo Millennium Falcon. So, um, and it's just the Hot Wheels version, I think. It wasn't, it's just one solid piece. I don't think it does anything. I don't think anything opens on it. The little escape craft doesn't come off the front, so it looks, you know, it has, and it has the flat radar dish, so it definitely doesn't look like the Millennium Falcon that we all know and love, but it's still cool. So, I'm kind of, I've been displaying it with the two um, solo figures that I have, which is, I have the basic um, five-point articulation Han Solo, the Alden Ehrenreich, I, I guess his name is. Um, and which I think is a, a decent enough figure. He has his blaster and um, it goes into his holster pretty well. And he's got very basic, the basic five. He like the old classic Star Wars figures, which I'm not so you know, some people hate it, think that it's cheap. Um, uh, doesn't bother me too much and then the Amelia Clark figure uh, what was her name uh, was it Kira I think I, I, I cannot remember to save my life uh, but it's a pretty good figure she actually even though she's wearing the skirt she can kind of bend her, her legs at the hips I don't want to push it too much I'm afraid it's gonna tear and she's got her little jacket on which is kind of cool and the face really isn't all that bad it kind of does look like her so and she has a, a very small uh, blaster with a it's not particularly detailed the like I said these figures uh, I waited till they went on clearance and speaking of that these two packs here now this one you can find all over the place but these two I hadn't seen these for a year, and last time I saw these was in Copenhagen, and they were like 30 or 40 euros each. They were ridiculously expensive, because in Copenhagen, um, the uh, Star Wars action figures are, 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 not, are not really priced to own in that country, I guess you could say. I'm not sure. But anyway, I, I found these at Ollie's, and they were much cheaper, because everything Ollie's is cheap, because they're just trying to get rid of it. And these two sets intrigued me, because you have... Um, Han in his Imperial uniform when he first meets Chewbacca, and they're both muddy, which I'm pretty excited about. It comes with some kind of uh, additional thing that I don't know if I'm going to display or not. This one is uh, Reboat, a Reboat, and the Carillion Hound which in a cage, which looks very cool. I also had seen this one in Copenhagen. And then this is the one that I finally got. Uh, it's Lando with the um, Kessel Guard. And uh, I, I liked, Lando was probably maybe the best part of that movie, so I feel, felt like I needed to own a Lando figure. So what I'm still lacking for my solo Star Wars story collection is I would, I, before I would call this complete, I would want uh, the Woody Harrelson and Tandy Newton character, and then as well as their, their little sidekick with the four arms. And then I guess Lando's droid, and then I, I guess you could call it done. Um, maybe if they do come out with a figure based on Paul Bettany, I don't know if they're going to do that or not. And I guess they had a few other little creatures in, oh wait, wait, there was also the, the one, the, the motor, the, uh, speeder bike flying one who turned out to be a girl in the end. That one's pretty easy to find. So if I wanted to complete my collection, those are the ones I would still want. So, so let's start with, um, everyone's favorite, uh, Wise Talking Smuggler, the Childish Gambino version of Lando. And I thought that was as good a pig as they could get to play Lando, a young Lando. I don't really remember the Kessel Guards too much. Or what they looked like. But anyway, here, the set comes with a backdrop that's kind of looks like Cloud City, interestingly. 
I wonder if that was intentional. Um, then it comes with a pamphlet that shows you how to make the gun artillery piece or whatever that I guess he comes with. And then there's something about the four strings stuff, which is just a rehash of something they had in the 90s, where you could put your your figures on top of a, um, a something that looked like a Jedi communicator. And then they would, and then you would have either actor, either dialogue from the movies or actors doing dialogue. There's a lot of junk in this. Okay. Wow. All right. First of all, this is kind of cool looking, actually. I have a few, like, Clone Wars artillery things, so um, I wonder if this was something that had showed up in the movie. So, I guess to build this... You hmm. Okay, you put little legs on it. And I guess this is supposed to lay flat on the ground. I don't think, I don't know if that's gonna happen or not. But, uh, and then you put the, uh, the little artillery gun. So, this is, There we go. I think this actually looks kind of cool. I don't know if I'm going to display it, but I, I actually don't mind it because it, it does have like the charging pack and everything. So I think this might have been in the Kessel scene when they were shooting at him. And speaking of that, here is the Kessel guard. And he is... Once again, the basic five, he has, for some reason, they articulated his hips, but there ain't no, you ain't moving those hips, let me tell you. And he has, um, you can turn his head. And he also has, they love sticks in, uh, in Star Wars. I mean, they really do. Ever since uh, Princess Leia showed up to rescue Han with that stick. Every other action figure has had some kind of stick like this. They love their sticks. So this is a Kessel Guard. And this is the figure that I'm more interested in. It's Lando. And uh, he is... With or without the cape. The facial sculpt is pretty good. You could also do your, this is America video if you want with this. You got, um, then I think I'm going to stick with Star Wars, but he, he looks great and the cape fits excellent on him. Lando is one of the few things that they got right in that movie. They really got Lando right. I, I, I wasn't super thrilled with 
Khan, but I, you know, I feel kind of bad for the actor because I don't know if he's going to be getting any more gigs because of that. The movie was the first, um, I guess you could say the first Star Wars flop ever, and I don't, and I don't think it deserved to flop. I thought it was a fine enough movie, and I think that people were really bent out of shape. And, um, and I don't think, I think that that movie ended up paying the price for a lot of angry, upset people. So it's kind of silly. It's just a movie people, but, uh, I, I still enjoyed it. But, uh, as we know, fans of franchises can get pretty carried away with their, their stuff and I can understand that I like a lot of things too and I don't like it when they change things radically but I don't I don't think we should go out and try to sabotage things and and I really liked the idea of a new Star Wars movie every year I didn't think there was anything wrong with that it was something to look forward to at the end of the year and I was glad that there was going to be a Boba Fett movie and an Obi-Wan movie and then they canceled all of that now I do understand that there is going to be an Obi Wan TV show on the upcoming Disney app, so that's something. But maybe they wanted to do that all along because they knew it'd be better to launch their app. If um, I mean, I think that an Obi Wan—that's something I would might even consider the the Disney app to watch you know get it paying for it because i would love to watch an obi-wan show but um you gotta wonder how much of that was intentional you know canceling the movies and then blaming it on the fans and then hey we're gonna launch launch this app now and it's gonna have an obi-wan tv show just like cbs has the picard tv show i mean man they can just do this to the cows come home they can take every thing that my generation liked when we were in our 20s and turn it into a show so okay all right so we've looked at that now let's which one should we look at here let's let's look at the dog the uh carillion hound with rebolt um if you i guess you could say if you say so because i don't remember his name but it was in the credits, maybe. I don't know. I didn't show you the packaging. On the, let me back up a little bit. This was the packaging on the Lando figure. And here is, before I go too much further, here's the packaging. And they're really, you know, pushing the little thingy here to make him talk. And but I really just want this right here. My someday to com be completed solo shelf. Okay. So, let's see what we've got here. We have parts. And we have the hound. interesting looking figure and guess what he has a stick because in Star Wars they love sticks now more than anything okay is this going to be tricky to put together did they include anything yes they did there is an instruction pamphlet For simple people like me and now we first need this piece
First, I want to make sure is it the same on both sides? And it appears to pretty much. If you're wondering what that sound is, that is my cat, and she is chewing on the packaging, because she likes to do that. This is the part I'm looking for. I think. No? I'm not sure if their parts actually... Okay, so, make sure I have all of the parts here. These are the same. At a certain point, it is just going to get flat out embarrassing if I keep taking so long on this. I feel like I'm missing a part. Actually, got the one part correct. Okay. I still feel like I'm missing a part here, though, which is bothering me. Because there's this part. There needs to be a part here. It must be this. Yeah, it must be this part right here. And then I'm guessing that this ah.
So here we go. It, so it's got like a a door that has an inner door. Yes. And then this. goes here I did it but this goes here the back of it we have a cage and then there we go all right that took an embarrassing amount of time but I hope it was relaxing. Well, the little plastic sounds. Here is the the guy. Oh, he actually has articulation with his little dress thing that actually works a little bit. So he's very cool looking. He has a, looks like a big rubber band hat. His head turns. He's got orange goggles. He's wearing some necklace, a necklace there. He has his stick. There's his stick. There's his dog. The dog is the cooler thing. He has... Wow. Okay, I'm impressed with the dog. Articulation is really cool. Look at the head. Look how the head moves very realistically. And look, the jaw opens. Look at that. Now, this made my day. This truly made my day. And he's got a little leash. Oh, wow. And you can hold the leash. If you want to, or you can put them in the cage. Look at that. Oh boy. Now that is super cool. You can, you can close the cage. He can be like, here's my dog. You can let the dog out. And then. Hold on. Ooh, he doesn't want to come out. He's got, I like the leash a lot. He's wearing like a little dog armor. And I like his little dog face. The opening mouth, that is so cool. I'm, when I display this, I think I'm going to have to keep him out so I can savor how cool this dog looks. His little tail. So this is a Carillion dog. He's got teeth. And this is a Carillion dog guy. I'm gonna drink some coffee. Very colorful. I like it. I like I like it a lot. Okay, next. Finally, we get to Han and Chewie, and. On the back, we see Han, and, and there's a gun you can make for Chewie. That's my cat scratching. She really likes it when I do videos, so she likes to, to come in here. It's like fun time for her. There's new stuff being opened, and um, she just loves it. We do have a guide. This gun will probably be easier for me to build because it only has a few parts. And then Han, Chi, and a blaster. Let's look at Han first. He is Han after he's been punished by the Empire for, I guess, trying to desert. 
and he is still in his uniform. The breastplate, he doesn't have his hat, but he's quite muddy because he was thrown into the mud pit and there's mud on his face. So you can see, and he, it's the same character, just uh, with a slightly different hair and face. Okay, um, he, because of the mud, there's really not much detail on him. Everything is the same color. And there's the chain. Here's Chewie, and he's not wearing his trademark uh, bandolier. But he's got, his hair is shaggy, and uh, I guess it's a slightly younger Chewie than we know. His head turns pretty good for a Chewbacca figure. His face is great. His nose is quite shiny, like he's like he's healthy. Um, in his hand, he's holding. Oh, that's just his hands and the fur hanging down. That's just his fingers, his feet. And he also has a chain. I wonder it, you could probably link the chain up and connect them. I guess. So Han and Chewie. This gun. And the gun is, um, so, See if this actually snaps together. Okay. Ah. There's a little peg in here. So there's the gun. And it's kind of cool looking. It looks like an old, you know, armored gun from World War One or something. It's very cool. I don't know if it made an appearance in the movie or not, but it is cool looking. Um, I think this is handle is a little bent, but that's okay. It doesn't look bad. Okay, and Han has his uh, blaster, his Imperial blaster. So, that's pretty cool. So, Han, Chewie, this gun. The Karelian dog guy. And the Karelian dog. The cage. Lando. The Kessel Guard. There, that gun. And then I have my other figures. And my Millennium Falcon. So, that is my small... Star Wars story solo a Star Wars story collection and that is all I have so I hope you enjoyed the video and please rate comment and subscribe bye